previously on the official server series. We make discovery after discovery. Tent bases, barrels, crates. We end up with claymores, explosives, we steal vehicles, and then we find more car tents, shelter bases, packed and stacked. Vehicles dumped at the edges and a big old base down south. We thought we were pretty much done and we find one of the biggest river stashes we've ever found. And just when you thought it, all the excitement was done, we break down, we do make it back to base, and then there's this. What the hell? Man, this stash has been here well before our time started on this server. Scope blaze. Pouches, loads of ammo, silencers. Is that night vision? Night vision. Okay. Let's have a drink. Sea chests and a shared load of crates. Okay. So we've now built, or in the process of building, some little stash sites elsewhere. But we're going to try and try and make safe all of this gear that we've come home with. I'm not too happy with that placement of that crate. Let's see if we can get a bit... Uh, there we go. I think that'll be slightly... Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay, let's start the long old journey of getting everything out of our infantry and the bag that we've got stashed up at Outpost. Look at all this stuff, man. M79... Jeez. 101, silence. Look at all this stuff. Anyway, anyway. Let's get all this in here as quickly as possible. I think this should be pretty safe. Last little bit. Dumped off. And we're good. So, 24 hours have now passed. We've logged back into the server. And we've headed over to the nearest town of Tarovo to fill up on water and hopefully find some food. Now, we've managed to stash all of that gear in a place where we think it's going to be quite safe for hopefully a little bit of time. We've got now four different stash sites. So, if one gets hit or two get hit, we should be cool. We didn't find any food in the town, but on the northern hills here, we have come across a pig. So this should, this should supply us with quite a bit of food to keep us going for a little while at least. Come on in, how much we got? Well that's not too bad, could have been better but that's alright, that's alright. Just keep a little night an eye out up here as there's been a lot of gunshots popping off in the last 20 minutes mainly from Novo area well, now we need to go and cook all this stuff up so we've given the nearby town of Dobro a good scouting from the hills and it appears all okay however there's a lot of zombies about and there is a base in the town in one of the sheds matches that'll come in handy let's get that sledgy working there you go, baby. Anything for me? Of course not. Of course not. So this is going to be a place where we uh, we go and cook our stuff up, I think. Big old fireplace. Let's get all our supplies in line. That bark set up. There we go. Let's get the sticks out. And those newfound matches will come in handy now. So... That food there is going to keep us going, hopefully, for quite some time. Probably don't even need fishing rod anymore. But I say that. We can always make an improvised one. We've got a rope later on, so let's just get rid of it. Free up a little bit of space. And we might as well just uh, get rid of this potato. Eat that up. Reduce the load. Dry all our clothing up while we're here. 
Got a couple of repairs to make as well. That bag's damaged. I think our boots look uh, damaged as well. Yeah, they're damaged. Also, as it's getting towards night time here, this fire and the smoke's going to be pretty visible for quite some distance. So uh, we'll get through this quite quickly. We'll move about in a little while, pick up all the clothing that we can again. Now all newly dried. And two big fats. Love it. Love it. Okay, all clothing's now good. I'll get rid of the pepper as well. We're feeding the heat a tad here. But again, you don't just want to be stationary next to a fire, so uh, let's move ourselves around a little. Good news is, all the food is now pretty much cooked up. And after leaving this type of footprint in the town, we do need to be thinking about making our move quite quickly. And it's getting pretty dark now. Okay, no immediate shots. I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's get out of here. So, we've travelled quite a long distance northwest from where we last picked things up. And we're currently at Ramushka Hunter's Cabins. Now, we have picked up a bit of an illness here. So, we're going to be hitting a medical shortly, hoping to gain some tets. Whether we find them or not is going to be a bit of a different story, no doubt. So this place is cool. There's a little well at the top here. There's always a few zombies hanging about. It's probably going to be... There you go, one waiting for us inside. Beautiful. Sledgehammer still working a treat. Yeah, we'll take the Yeppy. Nice, nice. Take two. That'll help us out, should we need it. There's a bear trap down there, look. Let's slap this one about. There you go. That's that one done. Let's take that. There's not an awful lot in here by the... Uh, by the looks of things. Don't need a second at the moment, sailing. We don't need that. So what have we got then? Bandages. Coding. We don't need any of that. Take the morphine, though. Let's set this little trap up. We may be here for a little while. We'll check the area out. You never know. We may get a little bit lucky here. Okay, let's go and get hold of some of this alcoholic turnage. Hopefully this will resolve our sickness. Looks like it is. There you go. We're good. We are good. No tets though. Anyway. Slap this little dude about. We've checked the, uh, the bear trap. Nothing's been set off. So let's go and fill up on our uh, water supplies, get hydrated again. It's a bit of a dodgy one, this, because there's loads of trees about. A really good, uh, easy area to get sniped here. Serve a pot right now is medium to high, so um, we should be expecting some form of uh, interaction at some point shortly. Oh, hold on a minute. We have... Oh, there's a barrel in there. There's a couple of crates, and it's a free doll. Oh, you know what's happening here, then. Yo, there's another one. Okay. It's another free doll. Can't see through that one at the moment. All right. Well, we're going to be cracking this, then. I can get through this in about five to six minutes. Hopefully, we'll guess a higher end of the spectrum. Always start six and above, I do. Hopefully, we'll get it right quite quickly. Okay, we're in. What's the code? Okay. Now we're going to keep this all smart. If we ever come back here, we'll keep the coats. We'll put the lot back on. There's not an awful lot here, but there is something. I mean, our boots are knackered. Let's get that straightened out. We don't really need any more. Well, nah. It goes with our little outfit, doesn't it? We'll keep the gloves. Okay, so there's not a massive amount here. Make sure we've got a knife sorted out. But there is a few things. 
And we're not the type of person to popcorn all this stuff. Why would we do that? One, it will show we've broken him. And we know the codes now. Uh, and number two, I just don't operate that way. Why would I do that? Someone's worked hard here to gain some of this stuff. But we will repay a visit here a bit later on. So let's slap the code back on. Thank you very much. Let's go and try and crack the other one as quickly as we've done that one. This is also a wolf spawn area. So um, hopefully we can get in and out of here without setting those bad boys off. Okay, let's go then. Okay, the wolves are here. Sped this up a little bit. And we're here for the full six minutes break in this one. We've started at a low number this time. And then we stupidly switched halfway through. Right, what's the code? What's the code? Yeah, I knew it as well. Rookie mistake. Okay, anyway, we're in now. We're in. So what have we got? Oh, okay. Got medium tent. We've got a bow. Oh, this looks better. This looks better. Okay, so there's nothing in there we really need. It's got a little mosin in it. But uh, again, we don't need that. What's going on here? Okay. A couple of M16s. But I'll tell you what we can do. We can use that uh, KAS to take care of these wolves, can't we? So, uh, saves us using our um, our sniper rifle. So, we'll do the usual. We don't need anything else in there. We'll uh, lock it back up. Just double check. We're not leaving anything obvious behind. And fill this clip up. It's going to be pretty noisy. Northwest Airfield's not too far from here. So, um, Severgrad ain't too far either, the actual big town down the hill. So, we don't really want to be hanging about after alerting people that we're here. So, let's fill this clip up. Sorry, let's fill this mag up. And uh, take care of these guys, and then we're off. I think it's about time we headed back to base, to be fair. It's been a good 36 hours since we've last been back. Okay, let's dump it on the floor, lock this bad boy back up, it's going to push me in, I knew it was going to push me in, okay, so we're going to have to open the gates, no, ain't going to let me do it, okay, open them big old boys, put the lock back on, lock ourselves, well, shut ourselves back in, get ready, and let's have you, bang, see you later my friend, where's the other one? There you are. Not anymore. That's loud as shit. Okay. Let's get the night vision on. I forgot I had night vision there for a minute. Let's get home. I think we're good. Okay, so we've made it back to one of our dig sites. And just checking everything's in order here. You would have seen these from the last two episodes. Okay, what we got? Yeah, everything's cool. So these haven't been interfered with. We're going to move position. We're going to move them. Anyway, let's head back down to our other stash sites. Where our big old stash site is underneath this pier. And the good news is the crates are still here. Hate that swimming thing. That's a nightmare. Absolute pain in the... Oh, no. No, we've been hit. It's been found. Okay, well that didn't last long. That's lasted 24 hours. Just double check that we're not we're not missing something here. We only see three crates. There's another crate there. We can't get to it. God damn it. Okay, so we've had a big hit there. So we're down at stash site number three. Just making sure we've got the others intact. Well, that looks fine. So we've headed back into Dobro because this is the only base that we knew was nearby. And it looks like this place has already been hit also. So we have no idea where our gear has gone at this time. So we might as well fill up with water while we're here. We've got quite a bit of work to do now to regain all of that. So let's get this sorted out. Just fit it up one last time. And we're going to be heading northwest again. So 
So we're now just north of Krasno, at the site of the big old base with vehicles we came across in the last episode. Now this was the site of where the shelters were, the barrels was, and the two vehicles, and clearly they've moved on. So we've just gone about 500 metres west to our two dig sites we put down not far from that area. And they appear to still be here. So we're just checking everything is in hand. So this is stash point number five now. And we should have some claim. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so all this stuff's still here. Let's move it though. So having repositioned all of our latest dig sites in this area, we're now heading southwest of the map in order to scout out some of the big towns and see if we can come across where our intruders are based up. And it wasn't long before we found what could possibly be the people that have raided us. Just north of Nevaeh Petrovka in the two big barns. The only problem with stuff around here is there are loads and loads of zombies. Yeah, look, there's a base here. I wonder if this has been hit. And this is a really busy town. It's not far away from Tizzy. Ideal location, but a well-known location. What is in here? So let's take care of this zombie. We're going to have to clear a lot of these zombies up anyway. So let's just deal with those now. See what we're dealing with here. Is it here? Or is it... Oh, you know what? You know what? There's tents in here. Okay, so this is live. There's more tents. You can just see through the cracks here. And it hasn't been hit. What are we dealing with here then? Yeah, another gate, another four dial. Can't see anything through that little lot. So, these guys may well be in sight. They may well be online. It could be anywhere. And we're really busy. It's a high pop right now. So, right next to Tizzy. We can't afford to make too much noise. But these zombies are going to be a problem. And what I'm thinking is, there's a hole. You can just see underneath that. There are a few tents in there. That's a canopy tent with a camo net on. So there's a hole up to the left of this barn. And if I build a watchtower, if we can get away with it, it's going to take some. Good, it's going to take some work. This is without being spotted. Then we may be able to do what we used to do and crawl through the hole. And of course. A zombie is not ready to be one stabbed. And now they're all going to come, aren't they? Okay, we ain't got time to mess about with these boys. Oh, look, someone's tried... Yeah, someone's tried to get in here. So this was a double double wall. So they've walled it and they've watchtowered that. And someone's tried to get round that. Okay, we're going to slap the watchtower here. You've got to be careful not placing it too close, otherwise it won't build the second layer. And cutting down trees, this makes a lot of noise. Jeez. I still haven't got used to those, uh, those sounds, you know. Come on. There's more zombies. Of course there is. Yeah, this is quite a good little area, really, because you've got so much that someone who's trying to rage has got to deal with. Unless I'm coming with explosives or something, like a load of nades that are going to be nice and easy, nice and quick to get through, then, uh, you know, we've got a bit of work to do here, look. So it's getting dark. Let's get the, uh, let's get the planks straightened out. So we're going to need about at least 30 planks here to build the base. That's the floor. The stairs. And then another floor and another stairs. So we've got a bit of work to do. And 
our tools are a little bit messed up. And we've only got half a sharpening stone. So, uh, yeah, we've got it all against us right now. These guys could either spawn in at any time or they could be returning at any time. And the shot's down in the town. Jeez, man. Okay. There's the floor. There's the stairs. Let's have a little sneak and see what we're looking at here. Are they inside waiting to pop us? We can't actually see very well. Okay. Get the night vision back on. Let's finish off the build. Here we go. A couple more. Should be about right. So there's the second floor, and it's starting to rain now. There's the stairs. Come on now. Oh, look at this. Look at this. How many tents are in here? One, two, three. Is that four? Three? Three large tents. Several canopy tents. A medium tent, and Christ knows what else in here. Crates on the floor. Hmm. This is proving a little bit tricky right now. There's a zombie in there as well. We don't want to get stuck here. When they're logging in. I'm having some serious problems here. I've tried all kinds of angles. You used to be able to climb straight through here. With ease. But nothing is easy on Daisy anymore. Let's see if I can double roll it. Okay. Let's try ten rolls. Uh, okay, that's not working. Different angle. So. We're, we're half in. We're climbing down in fact we're up to our knees <laughs> up to our bollocks in it and we no matter what happens we can't can't get in we try try changing weapons or putting a weapon in our hands and taking it out we've tried rolling i mean that there we're in aren't we we're in but we're not in we can't get in <laughs> what is going on here this was an easy raid. An easy raid, but we can't afford to stand there all day here. I don't even know why I'm picking that up, covering our tracks. Okay, so we need to find some grenades. So, it's daylight now. We've just hit Tizzy. And we are searching here for just grenades. That's all we've come up for. Nope. It's going to be one of those days, isn't it? We're not going to find any... We're going to find everything but grenades, aren't we? Take them. Come on. Come on. Just five. I know it's going to take more than that, but just humour me. Just, just five. So, we've even tried loot cycling. Picking everything up from inside and dumping it outside and stuff is starting to respawn but no nades I've got some bacon though man this is proving very very difficult we haven't even found one grenade we've not found anything Jesus Okay, no one's hiding in here. Three oh eights, that'll do. We could we haven't even got C4 uh C4. We haven't got plastic explosives right now either. It's all been uh, it's all been taken from our stash. Oh well, we check the tents and if not, we're gonna have to find an alternative. Well, so far, we have been unable to find an alternative. We have searched around for the last couple of hours the entire northern areas. The military out on the edges, and we haven't come across anything that's going to be helpful on our journey. And now it's dark. So we're going to quickly check this little pond here just to make sure nothing's hidden. Whack the old night vision on now as well. Absolutely nothing here. So we're going to head south in the hope. That we come across something useful. Well, we're kind of losing a bit of hope here now. 
case there's nothing about. No new bases. Um, we haven't come across any stashes. But there is a river here that we're going to pick up. And just run down it. Now you know what we're like finding gear in river, so... The chances are pretty slim around this area, but who knows. We will keep plodding on. And this is a wolf spawn nearby as well. So, um, again, got to be careful. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. There's some food here. There's an M4. Nice. Okay. Is there any more? Three. Uh... Okay. So we could use that if we could find some plastic explosives. We could turn it into an IED. The old protective case. We've got a little bit of gear. Is there anything else though? Two crates, I think. Three crates, I think. That's it, isn't it? Oh, hold on. There's another crate here. So there's a grenade. We need a grenade. We need a grenade. And there's explosive round as well. Is there any more? There is. There's another one. A savannah. Some nails. Come on. Come on. There's more. 101. Oh, we can make that into an IED. There's an electric thing there as well. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, hold on. There's more. There's two explosive plastic explosives. Oh, you have got to be joking me. We've, we're in. We're in that base. There's two plastic explosive here. Is there any debt in that? Oh, there's more. Another nade. Nice. Is there any... Is there anything in there to start with? Oh, there's food. Please, please be a mustache here. We can't really carry much else either, can we? Uh, we're a little bit screwed on what we can carry, but that's alright, that's alright. We'll make room if... If there's something well worth taking here. We need a detonator. At least one. We can whack one of those bags in our hands as well, if need be, and run off with those. Okay, is there any more? There is, there's another nade. Oh, look at this, there's another... Well, we ain't got an M79, have we? But, there is two explosive rounds there. There's another... Well, we've got a, a, a pretty knackered sharpening stone, so we might as well swap that one over. We need to upgrade our tools. Come on, please be more. Okay, plate carrier. There's more. Little steps, little steps. Is that another one? Mm, oh, yeah, there's another one. Vega, we don't need that. We... Don't tell me that's it. Oh, there is another one. There's nothing in it, though. Let's, tell it, let's get rid of that. What are we doing? Let's get that in there so we can transform that IED. But without a detonator, we're just uh, pissing the wind really a little bit. We haven't missed anything, have we? So there's a, there's a, a load of crates. We're just double checking here because you never know. It's very easy to miss stuff when you're going through things like this. Very, very easy. We've also got to be extremely careful. This is someone's live stash. Was that a sea chest? And there's a tent there as well. Okay. Okay. We're thinking here. We're thinking what is best to do. Shall we dump stuff up there? Let's dump the gun. Let's go back and get the protective case. Let's turn that into an IED. There we go. And then we'll stash it back here as an IED in case or until we can find a detonator. Yeah, we know they go in there. But we're not going to put it in there. Not just yet anyway. Let's, let's go and whack that down. Should we leave it here and come back to it? So, let's fill up our mag here as well. Our uh, full loaded mag, just in case whoever this is suddenly returns. There we go. So, we've got a full M4 
ready to light something up if we need it. So let's get down here. Let's put this back somewhere. Anywhere will do. We'll try and make it as neat as possible. So that it's not obvious. That whenever whoever that is comes back. Um, it's not immediately obvious that someone's found it. Okay, so we know about all that. We've seen that. Is there anything further on? Oh, I bet it's going to be it. No. Oh, hold on, hold on. There's another crate. Come on. Come on. There's another crate. There's two crates. There's another explosive. Plastic explosive. We're going to ditch our armband as well and go with a daisy armband. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. What else we got? Come on, detonator. Be something else with a and hold on what is going on here what is going on here there's loads more so there's landmines we could definitely use those there's more explosive rounds what else is here there's another M4 I'm going to get rid of that we might as well swap that it goes with our nice little kit looking sexy now come on now oh, there's two barrel there's night vision there's a claim what? Oh, we're in. We are in this base. We're in already. There's another plate carrier. There's loads of building gear. We can swap out our gear then. That can go. I, I'm confused at this. Are they trying to build somewhere nearby and just stashing gear here for that? Or are they... There's an LAR. There's a goddamn LAR there as well. We can't take it. There's night vision, we can't take that. There's guns. Holy shit. Okay. Okay, you can't run because they're there. Barrels there. Is there anything else? Look, if we find the detonator, we are good. We're good anyway. We can blow through with what we got, I think. Set the claymore. No, no, no. Set the grenades off. Then set the claymore off. That should get through that gate. And if not, we've got additional rounds. In fact, there's loads of rounds here. I don't know what to do about this LAR. We don't want to take it. Because don't forget, this is a high pop server right now as well. And we want to leave... In case things go drastically wrong... Oh, there's more nades on this. There's three more nades on that. Holy shit. Well... We're in with just the nades, aren't we? Oh dear. Get rid of the hooks. We don't need the hooks anymore. Get out of a nade. Nades in. Locked in. Get rid of that. And we've been here quite a while now. We've been here quite a while. Get the gun in your hands. Uh, just double checking there's nothing else. Like a detonator. No. Anything else? Anything else? No. I think that's it. That is a big old find. That is a big old find. I don't think we're going to get anything else there now. It's a little bit shallow down this way as well. Oh, look. There's a mushroom here. There's another mushroom. Okay, so whoever it is has been here recently. Nah, there's nothing else. And we're making a right old noise here. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. I think we're good with that. Well, we're definitely good with that. But can we get back now without running into trouble? And then, can we raid that base nice and quickly? Once this noise goes off, Everyone who's nearby is going to be about and they're going to be coming over to see what's going on. Let alone, let alone the base owners. They may even be in now. They may be there. God damn it. We spent ages looking for this stuff as well. Jesus Christ, man. Those noises. I know that I should be used to these by now, but they still... They just come up on you, don't they? They just unexpectedly come up on you. 
Right, let's get some food in this. Let's prepare ourselves. We're soaking wet as well. Let's eat up, let's drink up. And then let's go tree line. We're going to go back via the tree line just to try our best to keep out of trouble. And then... We're going to hit that shit. There's nothing worse when you're getting mid-raid or in a PvP scenario. There's the stomach symbol and you're running low on vitals, especially food and water. Always prepare. Okay, man, we are we are full to the brim with gear here. We've got three plastic explosives as well, man. Just no detonators. But we do have detonators back at base. Anyway, let's not hang around here too long. There's all that gear again. Uh... No, there's nothing we need, man. There's nothing we need. Come on. Let's just go. I'm, I'm in two minds. I shouldn't be double looking, double checking here. It's only in case we've missed a detonator. That is all we're trying to double check on. Uh, come on, come on. Come on. I, I know we haven't. I know we haven't seen a detonator at all. Should we take it anyway? They're going to know that... They're going to definitely know that we've been here, but... Anyway, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, okay, let's stop it. Let's stop it. Let's get on with the mission. Stop messing about. Let's get back up this stream. Hopefully we're not going to get the wolves on us. We can barely run. Good news is though, it's still dark. So we've got a little bit of cover of darkness here. Okay. Okay, 20 minutes later and we've managed to bypass all of the northern regions and get back to this base location. So we're past Sinistock and we're at the north end of the Vea Petrovka. Now the watchtower looks fully in place. I think the safest option right now is for us to attack this from the back entrance. So we've got cover of trees. But we are going to have to resolve these zombies first hand. Nice having a silence then fall by the way. Very nice. Okay. I think the plan of attack is going to be slap the nades down grab some cover and then just double check that no one is coming immediately over i can't hear any noise from inside so i don't think they're home but anyway let's get these nades in place let's start with five six let's go with six so there's four there's five pull the old pin Drop it and get the hell out of here. Let's... Oh, shit! Uh, okay. So I guess someone was there watching. That's probably the pace owner somewhere. <laughs> oh, man, we got all that uh, plastic explosives. We've got everything on us. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. So, can we get back quickly? I bet we get an Electro or Berezino... Give us a churn. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Okay, okay. Well, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Complete freshy. There is absolutely no way we're getting up there to recover our body. And anyway, whoever shot us would have taken everything decent from us. I didn't even hear the shot, to be fair. Oh, shit. Well, we're going back up there anyway. Because don't forget, I did unpin the nade. And I didn't move from the door. So what that's going to mean is, potentially... Mind you saying that, it wasn't damaged at all. It would have damaged, severely damaged that back door. So there's a chance. But then again, there's more nades on my body. I think we... If that's not the base owner, we've just given someone a free massive raid. With a load of shit on us. Oh, damn. Damn. What is going on here? That raid's over. 
And all that shit is gone. That's the first death we've had. In... What? This would be the third... The end of the third series and we've not died once yet. God damn. Oh well. Time to make our way back. Okay, finally. 45 minutes later. We've made it back. Um... We're trying to just look about roughly where we died. Oh, there's a stick on the floor. <laughs> That's very kind of whoever killed us. Have left a stick on the floor. Uh, okay, thank you for that. The door hasn't been uh, fully blown, so I think it's ten nades now to blow through one of those. All right, all right. We don't care now. We don't care now. Let's just run around and see if there's anything, anything open anywhere. Watchtower still there. Oh, shit. They've wiped it out, man. They've cleaned it all up. I thought there was a player there, by the way. He's by the tent. Oh, no. We've given them all of the ammunition to base raid. <laughs> oh, but there's nothing left here at all, is there? Is it? Oh, look at that lovely sailing lighter. Brilliant. Is there even a gun? It oh Christ! It's all gone. No. Let's take our anger out on this zombie. God damn! Well, there you go. Shit happens on Daisy. <laughs> After all that work as well. Oh no. We don't need them. We're not going to bother taking any of that. Come on, get down, get out. Look, even the zombies are pissed off. Man, I've been done wrong here, and I. <laughs> that is, that is naughty, naughty. Oh no. Okay, okay. Look on the bright side. Look on the bright side. We have found a load of stashes. So gearing back up is not going to be difficult. But we have lost the three top plastic explosives that we're going to need to get through any other base we come across. Hmm. Okay. We need to formulate a new plan here. We need to formulate a new plan. I bet we got hit by those people there, and whoever's hit them has now got all of our gear. Hold on. Hold on a minute. We've got a repeater with four bullets on, and I think there's a base here. Surely not. Right next to that other one. That's a camo net. It's a base. Now, what are the chances? Surely not. Surely not. That's only one door. There'd be one door both sides. 